Hello everyone, we're gonna talk about Adaboost and how like feature. But I want to explain something about Adaboost. Adaboost is the native boosting algorithm. The goal is to uh, the goal of boosting is to improve the accuracy of any given learning algorithm. First, a weak classifier with an accuracy under training set greater than a chance is created, and then new component classifiers are added to form an assemble whose joint decision rule has arbitrarily high accuracy on their training set. And well, a uh, new desk, we, we can explain uh, more the algorithm. Well, first we need the weight, and then uh, with that weight, for example, this is our first uh, weight, and for, for this weight, well, we have a lot of components here. For example, the normal decision constant and this one. Uh, this constant uh, implies that, for example, if y equals ht, then uh, c uh, equals to e. Uh, well, the only change here is the the c the sign. Yeah, the sign. But uh, we need also alpha. Alpha is determined by uh, this formula. It's really easy, really. And another other con we have to consider that the error uh, is less than 0.5. For example, if we convert here the error uh, in 0.5, one less 0.5 is 0.5 and 0.5 and 0.5 is 1 here and finally if we do this algorithm it's gonna be uh, 0 and 0 uh, is equals to 0 and is it, it's a condition uh, that alpha alpha must be greater than 0 that's why it it has it has to be uh, less than 0.5 and well if y is not the same that h eh, i don't know for example eh, if we have eh, this is a uh, for binary eh, decisions for example if we have eh, if it's a phase okay eh, c is equal to this if not well th this case and finally, we have to upload uh, our weights with this formula. Okay, it exists a lot of variants of this uh, kind of algorithm. For example, Logit Boost. And well, Logit Boost represents an application of established logistic regressions techniques to the AdaBoost method. Uh, rather than minimizing error with respect to y, uh, weak learnings are chosen to minimize uh, the error of the function. And finally, uh, well, this is the equation. Uh, and the equation implies uh, the newton raphson approximation. But well, uh, you can also check it uh, a lot of kinds uh, of boost like this logic boost gentle boost and Friedman's wording I don't know it, it exists a lot of kinds of boost but well uh, the pros and contras of boost is I want to I want to say that boost is really fast but the contra is that for example this uh, the Weak classifiers are too complex, uh, leads to overfit overfitting. And other contra is that uh, Adaboost doesn't works doesn't work with linear lineal models. Okay, we may we made an example. This example is about uh, we want to classify two kinds of animals. In this case, uh, it's rabbits and ducks according to the length and weight and that's why we create uh, some new variables here uh, random random variables but uh, with a little restriction yeah this is for the rabbits and for the dogs and then uh, we have to 
well in this in this case we're gonna uh, plot we're gonna wrap uh, the dates here for example and finally this is the training data and then uh, we need we have to use a post well this is a this is a function but this function includes the algorithm with all the operations and then uh, well uh, you can also change here uh, the number of iterations for example but uh, it's very important that the number of iterations uh, will be great uh, big for example here is 70 but it, but if we put here uh, i don't know maybe 100 it could be overtrained and the result maybe is not the the estimated or okay and finally uh, we're gonna uh, check the th uh, the threshold uh, with this uh, with this algorithm with this formula it's only four okay then we're gonna uh, graph it in order graph and finally uh, we're gonna train uh, some new data with the, it's the same the same basis and okay we're gonna show the result here in the fourth graph and something new here is that uh, the user can and write a uh, new data for example i don't know if i want to if i want to know about uh, i have the weight and the length of an animal and i want to know if he's a rabbit or dog i can also uh, write it here in matlab and uh, i will know it okay let's go to matlab it's here matlab and this is our function Okay, we're here in MATLAB and we are gonna run the program. Okay, it's running. And then we can introduce uh, the weight and the, and, the, and the length of the animal. I don't know, maybe, and this is the graph. You can check it here. This, the greens are, the, the green points are the rabbits and the black points are the dogs. This is our training data classified with Atapos model, and finally we will introduce the weight here. I don't know, maybe, maybe three, and the, the weight uh, also three, and the length. And we can see now here this is the new indicator for the animal. Uh, the color is black, that that, uh, and it implies that it's a dog. And well, we finish uh, this part. Now we will talk about the hard light features introductions. Hard light features use a lot of positive images, images of faces in that case, and negative images, images without faces, to try and declassify. The then it extracts features for, from the image. Each feature is a single value of time by subtracting sum of pixels under white rectangle from sum of pixels under black rectangle. So here you have uh, these three examples, for example, the edge feature, the line feature, and four rectangle feature. But there were plenty of features, which means a lot of computation. To solve the problem, it was introduced the integral image concept. In MATLAB, we can obtain this image using the, this code, j equal integral image of e, where e is an image in grayscale. So we have an example of the how it works the integral image. It's only the, the sum of this value. For example, 1 plus 2 is equal 3. Then 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. It works in the same in the same thing or here on the on the rows. So 3 plus 1 is 4. 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 6. So this this code make this integral image then we have to select the best feature or a flower of features using Adapost. applying every feature 
on all train images and find for each feature the best threshold. So we select the feature with minimum error rate. This process will repeat over and over again with new weights until we have a good accuracy. Finally, we zoom all these Wix classifiers. Even then, we will have a lot of features. That problem can be solved using the concept of cascade classifier. So we have this, 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 this magic box, for example, we have a training set and the family of weak classifiers. So the output of this, of this box is a single and strong classifier using Adapost. We will introduce the cascade of classifier concept. The cascade of classifier concept changes the idea of applying all of the features on a window. Instead, the cascade of classifier groups the feature into different stages and apply one, one by one. If a window fails, the first stage is discarded. So, however, if it passes, apply the second stage and the process repeats again and again and again. The region which passes all the stages is a phase. So, for example, if we have an image, if we don't detect in the first stage uh, a phase, uh, this part, this region of the image will be discarded. So, if all the stages passes, it means that we have here in this, in that region, a phase. So, we can, we can saw an uh, example of that. Finally, we will show you an uh, example, a simple phase detection. Using Python plus the software Nonfi plus the IDE PyCharm. Uh, we will use the OpenCV trainers, for example, Cascade, Car Cascade, Frontal Phase, and Car Cascade I, and a simple webcam. So this is the, the result of that. So we have to code the, the main function. When we uh, obtain the, the video from the webcam, we declare, we define the OpenCV classifiers and start the webcam. So if we find an error, we can stop the, the, the program. And for example, when we can read the next, the net frame, the program will be break. So this is on the destructions from the uh, start ca the webcam. Then we have the process. So we have to convert the original image into grayscale and apply the face classifier into the grayscale image. So we will draw the rectangle and this color will be green. So once we detect the face, we obtain a row or region of interest. So we're looking for eyes inside this row. Roy. So we obtain the row. Uh, um, the eyes, we apply the eye classifier uh, inside the row grayscale image. So we will, we will use the cyan uh, rectangle. And this cyan rectangle is that. So these two rectangles are drawn. So finally, we we show we show the 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 image, the video, with the command im show, and we put this this title in Spanish is detector de rostro, and this face detecting in English. So finally, we close all windows for save memory. So finally we have this code done. So I will run it. So the webcam is starting and now it works. But it works on at least on the face. And that's all.